What's up guys, in this video we're going to learn about how to add CSS into our handlebar file. Alright, first thing first, what we're going to need to do is make sure you do have a variable called define app and this is your express application. Within this, we're going to use it, use a function format called app.use and also make sure you do have a variable called express. So we're going to use this variable and use a, a function format called static and this static itself is going to look for a folder but we don't have this folder yet let's go ahead and create it we need to create a folder called public within that public folder we're going to add our css folder here and within this css folder we add a css file called style.css all right so once again a public folder a css folder and a style.css all inside a public folder itself and on our server side we send this entire thing here and we pass this public folder here all right so make sure you do have this line this is really critical for to get this uh, static files applied to your express handlebar all right so once this is done we can head over our view folder inside of view head over the layouts and within the layout head over the main that handlebar file all right, so here, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna link this folder here. And what we're gonna do in this case is, instead of referring to the public folder or go one level up or do whatever crazy thing you need to do, the only thing you need to do now, once you have these lines of code, where is it? This lines of code, you only refer to stuff that is inside this folder. In our case, there is something inside this folder called CSS. To refer to that CSS folder, I only need to do CSS. And once again, all this magic is happening between these lines of code here. All right, once again, we, we need to refer to something within this folder. We just type it the name of whatever is inside this folder. CSS, all right, what is inside the CSS? There is a style.css. So we do slash style.css. And let's save this, save this back on our server. And the only thing we need to do now is within that style.css, we're gonna add some style. All right, guys, we do now have a style with the body equal to background with 100% and height 500 pixel. Let's run this code and see if it worked. All right, no error, and let's refresh this browser here. And as you guys can see, there is our style working. But what if we wanted to have one CSS a per different template what i mean by this is there is one issue here if i go back to the about page every single place is, is having the same background color of green if i go again to the home page every single place is, is having the same background color over and over what if i wanted different place to have different background color well we can do this with express handlebar itself what we can do here head over wherever you are writing AKA you are rendering this uh, this template. In this case, I have a rod, and within this rod, what I'm gonna do here, for example, this one, this is where I'm rendering this template. All right, before I can render, make sure, or AKA make sure that I have different CSS per different template. Let's head over our CSS folder. I'm gonna create a couple of CSS, one for about.css, and another one just for the dashboard.css. Uh, and I'm going to rename the style that CSS to be something different, but probably home that CSS. How about that? All right, let's close all this file just for you guys to in case you have any com uh, complication here. Go back into our route. This is where we are. Now, once again, we have a CSS folder with different CSS style we want per template. What we need to do is over our route, wherever we are rendering the home page, in this case, we are rendering the home page over here. I'm gonna add a property called style style. It doesn't matter about the name. I'm just gonna give this one uh, style. And what I want to do here is I wanna send out or AKA pass it the CSS files I would like to apply. In this case, this is gonna be the home page, and I do home.css. And I'm gonna head over and copy this line for different while well, I want to have different CSS. In this case, I want the about uh, uh, template to have a different CSS. 
So I'm gonna rename this one instead of home CSS. I want it to be about that CSS. And let's go again back to the dashboard. The dashboard, I want it also to have a different type of CSS. Go back here and I'm gonna render this one. I want this one to be the dashboard. Now, one note to notice is make sure this name is actually referring to the name of the CSS file that you have currently down here. Now, the only thing missing we need to do is copy this key name that we have down, down right here and we're gonna take this key to our default layout, which is layout, main that layout. And instead of passing this uh, this hard coded value, we're gonna pass it a hot or dynamic value right there, which is the style key. And what this gonna do for us is whatever value that the style key contain, in this case, it's contained the dashboard.css. Well, this is gonna equal equivalent to whatever the value is is here for that case for example now it's dashboard then it's going to be equal to dashboard well if it was equal to in this case if it was equal to about that css then it's going to equal to about that CSS. all right too much talking let's test this one before we can test it out let's make sure that we change the background color for different places in the home page i want it to be green in the dashboard page i want it to be probably purple and on the about that CSS, I probably want it to be pretty much orange, something like that. Once again, this is not a perfect value for you guys to have. This is to illustrate this point. All right, so everything is done, ready to go. Let's test it and see if it works. All right, we are now on the home page. Oops, so it's not working as expected. And the reason it's not working is because we still leave this hard coded value here. Remember, it has to be dynamic. So the key we were expecting for is style. Now let's try it out. The home should be, let's go back into, uh, let's close everything just for you guys to see what we're working with. All right, back again, the uh, the rod itself. All right, so the home page, which is this home page, it should be receiving the home that CSS color and the home that CSS should be green. And let's try this out, fresh. And there you guys see as expected. If I go back to about, and let's see what this stands to hold about slash about here's our slash about it's holding the about.css and if we head over our about.css it should be equal to orange and there you go guys as you can see and what is the last one the last one was dashboard here's the dashboard route and as you guys can see down here again we added the dashboard to be equal to the dashboard css and what is the dashboard the dashboard is actually equal to purple and there you go ladies and gentlemen the purple is applied this is how for you guys to add css dynamically per template and i hope you guys enjoyed this and see you guys in the next video all right